Good morning and welcome to our conductor's workout today. You guys have a special job where we have a whole lot of possible imbalances coming from bringing the arms in front, looking down, turning pages, lots of arm movement, not a lot of rear movement. So we're gonna be addressing that today. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is if you have a foam roller, we're gonna use this on your upper back to give you a little bit more thoracic mobility. Okay, it looks just like this. And if you don't have, if you don't have a foam roller, no worries. But if you do and you're not sure how to use it, this is great for your upper back. You're gonna put this right at the base of your shoulder blades. You're gonna let your chin rest in your hands, put your elbows in front of your face, lift up. Oh, that feels so wonderful. And roll back and forth a few times, just to about uh, shoulder blade level, okay? And then you're gonna lean back. <sighs> nice exhale. <sighs> and just hold that stretch for a little bit, okay? After that, or in case you didn't have it, a couple things we need to work on. We need to stretch this area, right? Because think of all the conducting you do in front, right? So we need to stretch out your front shoulders, your anterior delts, and your upper traps. So do this. Looks really similar to the bicep stretch I've shown you guys before. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand, and put it behind you, but instead of being way up high at 90 degrees, you're gonna put your, the back of your hand against the wall and bring it down. So it's not quite up here, it's here, and then twist away, okay? And you're gonna find a nice stretch right through here. You might have to fiddle with it just a little bit to find the right angle, but you wanna hold that for 30 seconds, okay? So we're gonna stretch here, and then we're gonna stretch these muscles, your shrug muscles. I'm thinking a lot of my marching band uh, conductors, right? Drum majors, you guys are way up here. Not only are your delts here just on fire, when you get tired, your shrug muscles, your upper traps have to help. So here's how you stretch those. You're gonna put your hand in the middle of your low back, look straight ahead, and bring your ear towards your opposite shoulder. Pull down, pull straight this way, okay? And again, you don't wanna look up, you don't wanna look down. If those both feel tight, you feel free to do both of those because that will stretch your SCM here and your levator scapula. But our goal here is upper traps, which is right in the middle, straight this way, and then to get a little extra, you can push your head ever so gently against your hand, and then relax, and you should go a little bit farther, okay? Again, only do these stretches if they feel tight. One other thing, almost all the conductors I have seen conduct standing up, okay? So, to think about that, your calves are probably wicked tight. <laughs> Not in my Boston accent. Wicked tight from standing so much. So, here is how you're gonna stretch your calves. You can do this backstage, you can do this just about anywhere, right? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna come up against the wall, okay? You're gonna put one foot behind you, and instead of just putting it back wherever, I want you to take that foot, you're gonna turn it in towards your front heel and lean forward, and that'll give you a really nice stretch this way. Again, if you don't feel anything, you can do it this way. You take that back foot, turn it in towards your front heel, lean forward. If you don't feel much, try this one. Take that foot behind you, a shorter step, bend your back knee, keep that heel on the ground, lean forward. That will stretch your lower calf. Count to 30 on both of those. All right, next thing we have, we need some mobility. Now that we have taken the tight muscles and released those, we need some mobility in this upper body, right? To keep you being able to do what you need to do. Nice fluid motions. So what we're gonna do is something called scapular push-ups. And what that looks like is you're gonna put your hands flat on the wall, just like this. You wanna lock your elbows, right? And then I want you to drop your shoulder blades, sink in between your shoulder blades, then push the wall away. Sink and push, sink and push. If you don't have a wall, that's fine. You can just do it just like this. Here's what I see a lot of. A lot of people struggle with this one because they just don't have that mobility. I think you guys are probably pretty good, but if you can't 
if you struggle with that, I see a lot of people doing this. Where most people just bend their elbows. Your elbows have to stay locked. We're trying to get your shoulder blades, we're trying to get your shoulder blades to move. Okay, just like that. If you bend your elbows, your shoulder blades won't move. We'll get, you'll get something like this, okay? We'll get that. We're like looking for this. And it should feel really weird. So if it doesn't feel quite right, you're probably doing it right. It should be odd. All right, do 10, 15 of those if they feel really good. 10 is a good number for that. Next thing, we have to get your hips mobile, right? You're gonna stand for a long time. We've gotten your calves to relax, but now we need some mobility in those hips so you can emote properly, so you can move around that podium with no problem. So <laughs> then again, if you are, uh, also if you are sitting in the pit, my, for my keyboard conductors, my, my pit people, if you're playing or uh, if you're not standing, this is gonna help keep your hips mobile for all the sitting that you might have to do. And if you're not sitting, for all the standing you have to do. This is called a walking leg pull-up. Not really sure what you're gonna call it. Let's just like this, right? So you're gonna step way back. You're gonna bring one leg up. Your goal is to get your shin parallel to the floor. So pick it up, sit it down, pick it up, Sit down, okay? If you're doing this backstage, you might want to prepare people for what they're gonna see. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm warming up to go, to go play, okay? Just down and back the hallway, just like that. Pick up, pick up. You're not trying to go like this. You're trying to go like this, all right? So just down the hallway and back, and then we have a couple things left, all right? We were gonna, we've got some mobility. Now we've gotta get some strength to your core so you can be able to keep going nice and strong and your low back won't hurt. So we've got two things and then we'll get into strength. And that's that, right? So we're gonna do something called bridge. And if that's too easy, I'm gonna show you another version that might make it a little more difficult, right? So for bridges, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your belly button in. You're gonna squeeze your butt. Bring your feet close to your rear end. Squeeze your butt. Lift up and squeeze hard, okay? Keep squeezing, come down, up and down. Or you can just hold until it burns, that's fine. If these are too easy, say you can do 20, you can do a minute, no problem. Try these. You're gonna lift one leg, back down. Lift the other leg, back down. We're gonna go back and forth. Don't let your hips drop, okay? So keep these up, lift, lift, and you wanna make sure you're driving through your heel the whole time, all right? So, that's your secondary option. Next thing, we have to make sure your neck is nice and stable, right? Chin tucks are something you can actually do anywhere, but since you're already on the floor, you can do these, uh, first thing when you wake up, it's because it's nice to, like a mattress is soft, it's nice to have something soft to do these, but if you don't have a, if you don't have anything like that, you can do them standing. They're called chin tucks. What you're gonna do, you're gonna pretend like your head is on rails and it's gonna go straight back. But to do that, we need to turn your head this way. So, tuck and push slightly back, relax. Tuck, relax. Here's another angle. If you give yourself a nice double chin, they're not attractive. You're doing it right. Looks like this. So, tuck and back, tuck, so you can see, I'm going straight back and up. You should feel a really nice stretch back here. It should feel really nice. So if you're doing them seated, looks like this. Tuck and back. Okay, just do 10, 15 of those. All right, our last two. These are our two strengthening exercises, and we're done, guys. Super easy workout. What you need is either a broomstick and or a mini band. So I'm gonna give you these two just in case you don't have one. Mini band looks like this. This is the lightest one. You can also use a fair band that's been looped. What you're gonna do, these are for the strength of these muscles. You're already doing this a lot, but let's build some of that strength. Let's build some of that endurance to be able to hold up here, right? You're gonna take this, put it around your uh, wrists, roll your shoulders back, and pull out and relax and out, and relax. And you'll start to feel that burn right here 
and your lateral delt, okay? Medial delts, whatever you want to call them. Just like that, right? And that's great if you don't have, because I mean, you can take this and you can use these for all kinds of things. You can put it in your gig bag or whatever, and if you don't have any dumbbells, this is a great option. Now, our last thing, if you don't have a minivan, by the way, if you want one, you can grab them anywhere, but I have some, you can order them on my website, musicstrong.com. Not a problem, you can also get a lacrosse ball, a couple other things, but that's one site I have some, and I'll send it to you myself. If you have broom, here's your other option. We need to strengthen these, because you guys are out here, right? We gotta deal with those, we gotta strengthen these, because you want shoulders and an upper back that is strong, because this up here is strong. So if you take a broom, a dowel rod preferably, but if you only have a broom, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come out just like this, okay? We're gonna go straight back. You might have seen me do this one where you go here, here, here. We're not so much worried about that. You can do that if it feels good, by all means do that. We're gonna do a scarecrow. And the scarecrow looks like this. The dowel just keeps you honest. I'm not gripping it, I'm just holding it, right? You're gonna come straight back like this. This is what my back looks like. You're going straight back. Notice I'm not going way back. I'm just going to parallel. So you're gonna go like this. You should feel like your arms don't exist from here down, and you're just gonna pull up, and you're gonna squeeze everything here. And you're just gonna do as many of these as you can stand. You're not gonna overdo it. Here's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna go like this. This, this is what you end up looking like. Think scarecrow. You look like a scarecrow, right? So, right here, and back down. And squeeze, and back down, okay? You can do these without the dowel rod or without the broom stick, but do 10 to 20 of those and uh, it should feel really good. Scare codes are great for anybody, whether you're a trumpet player, or whether you're a conductor, whether you're a flute player. These muscles back here just, <laughs> they just don't get a lot of love, right? And what I see a lot of times when people are trying to do these exercises, they, you know, you, you have, they have trouble with the mobility here, and then we're trying to, uh, we're trying to strengthen these. What happens is that all kinds of other muscles compensate. So I see this, <laughs> and I see this. And what else have I seen? Uh, oh, a lot of times I'll see that. They're going straight back. You no, know, we need to go straight out. So if I'm parallel to the floor, just like this, this is what I'm doing. What I see a lot is this, because this feels very strange. If you try it, very strange, right? But all this right here is going to be just on fire. So do one set to failure. If it takes forever, Squeeze the whole time, as much as you can, right? You're not gonna be able to squeeze when you're coming down. But squeeze the whole time, and uh, that should help, okay? Thanks for joining me, guys, and um, we'll see you another day.